What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Career Mode, this is episode number 35 and uh, of course the uh, episode earlier on today wasn't very long and uh, I did explain, well I didn't explain, I said I would explain this episode why uh, I kind of just did one game really and I wanted to bunch uh, some footage into this episode really just to sort of you know end the week on a, um, I don't know, a cliffhanger if you will and uh, I know you can guess by the title what's going to happen but you don't know exactly what's going to happen, that's the best thing about it so uh, yeah. Um, anyway, the uh, first game is against Cardiff uh, at Ewood Park, and uh, Cardiff was your team that came up with Blackburn last season. So, you know, I felt this would be a, um, I mean, at the start of the, uh, the season, I said that you'd be looking at relegation, six-point clashes with uh, these sort of teams, but um, obviously Blackburn at the moment doing so well, it's uh, it's hard to see them fighting for their lives come the end of the season. However, uh, I still do want to win it, obviously. I still do need to know that it's, um, it's going to be a game which we can win and win convincingly in front of our home fans, show them that uh, we are definitely good enough to be uh, Premiership ready for the uh, following season if we do stay up this season. But uh, we did take the lead here when uh, we went on the counter-attack, but Kim messed up his finish. But from that resulting corner, Townsend eventually crossed the ball in. Don't know why. I seem to take corners really quickly, but on this one, he took like five, five minutes. But uh, he swung the ball in. It found the header of Kim. And uh, Kimmy managed to put the ball past, I think it was David Marshall in goal for Cardiff. And uh, yeah, I made a 1-0 on the stroke of half-time. 45th minute script symbolic and all that shit. And it's 1-0 to Blackburn. Cardiff did have the chance to hit back here when I just... Oh, just the defending was so bad. But uh, I can't pronounce that name, but he put the ball wide from a one-on-one -on -one. he really should have scored that but uh, free kick came in here it was headed away it uh, eventually came to I think it was was it Neil Taylor on the wing no nah, it can't be he used to play for Swansea he certainly won't be playing for Cardiff but uh, anyway it came to Kim Bo Kyung my South Korean playmaker and uh, eventually the ball came into Gunnison at the uh, far post and he managed to put the ball past John Ruddy so 1-1 one -one was uh, gutted to throw it away really we really should have uh, had this game wrapped up by then there weren't too many chances but we were really the, uh, the dominant side but uh, just a few minutes after that Andros Townsend down the left hand side swung a ball in but Kimmy's header was well saved by the goalkeeper and uh, eventually the ball managed to get cleared away um, Kim actually did pick up a knock in this game so that sucks hopefully it's not going to be a, uh, a bad injury we'll have to wait and see but uh, Teeth picks up the ball here and lets fly from just outside Side the area. And what a great save this is by David Marshall. That's some serious power on that. And uh, then from that resulting corner, Townsend swung it in and uh, it managed to get headed uh, away. It came all the way out to a Teeth down the right hand side. I said before, like, a Teeth isn't you know good enough to play first team anymore, but he's still a fantastic player when he comes off the bench or just does anything really. But uh, Zaha here with some nice skill, lovely uh, touch over his head and roulette, a great strike in, but it's a simple save for the goalkeeper in the end. But um, the last chance would fall to us. It came to John Slew with uh, a lovely half volley from range, but again, David Marshall was there to stop him. So unfortunately, that's how the game finished, so a 1 1 draw. It's not a bad result, it's um, it's a point. It stops Cardiff getting three points, which is more important in my opinion. Because obviously, if we are going to be involved in the relegation clash, we can't give these teams the three points when we played them. So, um, I guess that's the best thing, really. But um, I would like to win it one anyway. But um, they restricted us to long range shots, really, which wasn't nice. But uh, here's a scout update or scout report from my English guy. There's a couple of good players. This guy, Bradley Heslop, looks good, and um, yeah, I mean, a couple of them look decent. I mean, I think I just continued the scouting on this one. No, I didn't. I signed him well. Um, but a couple look okay, but the rest are pretty poor. And um, like I said, I don't expect anything superhuman, but um, I don't know. Maybe I should like spend loads of money on like a really good scout and see if I can get better players. Because, I, I, you know, I can only guess that's how it works. But um, we'll have to wait and see. But the following game is against Fulham at Craven Cottage. This is a, a one of those uh, games again, really, when I was thinking to myself, you know, at the moment, as things stand, obviously we're sort of, uh, you know, mid-table really, Fulham and mid-table, this is more of a, a more difficult clash. But, uh, you know, like uh, like Cardiff, they were sort of really restricting us to taking long-range shots, which, with on FIFA 12, I was insane at long-range shots. On FIFA 13, I'm actually really poor, so... Maybe I need to adjust to that. I don't know, get some practice in. But um, yeah, they were restricting us to long range shots, which, uh, although on FIFA 12 was, was my speciality, on FIFA 13 it's uh, an area which I'm not very good at. But uh, Wilfred Zaha came down the right hand side here. Lovely piece of skill, but his left foot shot went wide. And Zaha couldn't really get on the ball in this game. And that's a shame because, in my opinion, he's been the best player in this team uh, in this uh, series, uh, season. But uh, Townsend's crossing here towards Kimmy. He's had a brilliantly saved by Stockdale. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I had to show the replay because his header was saved. And and I just powered up for a shot and for some reason it's so funny to watch again. He just boots the ball out 
out for a goal kick. Uh, dear, that was hilarious. But uh, yeah, last chance would come to us. It was Christofferson off the bench. We put the ball over and uh, unfortunately the game finished 0-0. So another draw, this time a goalless one. But it's not too bad. Like I said, it's not a loss and that's the main thing. So we just have to take it. But um, we then get a couple of emails here. The first one is a youth squad monthly report. So we go ahead and check out our young kids. That sounds ridiculously dirty and I sound like a paedophile, but whatever. I'm not retracting that statement, I stand by what I said. Um, but yeah, some of them look okay. Like I said before, some of them look really decent. The South Korean guys don't look amazing, but um, I'm, I'm really hopeful they will turn pretty decent. But uh, the next email is a manager role at Liverpool email, and this is where the episode comes into the cliffhanger stage, because I asked on Twitter for suggestions. I really should have put the tweets in this video, uh, sorry about that. But um, yeah, the majority of people said I should go. A few people said I should stay, but I don't know. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Do you think I stayed or do you think I went? I'm going to leave it up to you guys because... Yeah, it's a big offer. I mean, it's it's not like a, a mid-table... I mean, Liverpool are a bit of a mid-table side in the uh, in real life, but in the game, they're okay. But let me know. Do you think I went to Liverpool or do you think I stayed at Blackburn? Let me know. It's a big decision, and you'll find out on Monday afternoon. So as always, guys, a big thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment below, and I'll see you for that episode on Monday.